days. Hallelujah. Talking about manifestation time. I know I'm ready. You know what I began to do today? I began to listen to some of the prophecies that I received many, many years ago. And as I began to meditate on that, I said, okay, God, it's manifestation time now. We're going to receive just what we asked for, just what we heard prophesied over us, just what we prayed for. We're getting ready to receive it. Yeah. Amen. Y'all better get ready. Y'all better get excited. Amen. Hallelujah. Because God is getting ready to do it for us yeah. and already done. Amen. Yeah. That's what we are able to confess because we walk it out by faith. And we know by faith it's already done. Amen. I'm already healed. Amen. I'm already a kingdom millionaire. Amen. I already have more than enough. Yes. I'm, I'm, my debts are already paid in full. Yes. In the name of y'all better speak it. Yes. Oh my God, that's what we're talking about tonight. You better speak it out of your mouth. Amen. Amen. Don't let loose of it. You better hold on to it. And the enemy may try to come, but we are able to hold on to what the word of God has spoken unto us. What we have been believing God for. Oh my God, y'all better get ready. Amen. Y'all ain't ready yet. Hallelujah. Y'all ain't ready yet. Amen. But I'm ready. Be ready. Glory to God. 2023 will be a year of manifestation. We are able to know many of our prophecies and many of our dreams and visions and prayers will come to full manifestation in 2023. Amen. See, that's something to shout about Amen. right there. Because I know I have put some prayers before God. Amen. Hallelujah. I've been prophesied over again and again that God was going to bring finances, that the harvest is coming, that I will have a new house. Yes. All right now, I have land. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes. It's been prophesied that God was going to give us at least about eight acres of land. Yes. How many of you know sometimes you think it's just for you, but how many of you know he's able to bring it to your family? Yes. Yes. Oh, glory to God. And I give God glory for, you know, God is already manifesting some things. Amen. You know, as I began to look over this message concerning how that we are in a time of manifestation, I began to see people having manifestation all around me. I said, look at you, God. You're doing it already. Amen. Even before I minister this word tonight, you already doing it. Amen. My God, I've seen some things begin to turn around for many people. Amen. They became rich in one day. Come on, y'all. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. So we are able to rejoice right now. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. amen. No, no, number one, we got to think it. Amen. Hallelujah. We can't be thinking those old ugly thoughts. You know, where the devil is speaking to our mind and telling us God's not going to do it for us. We better know that God is getting ready to do it. Amen. Amen. God is doing it for us. So we are able to open up our mouth and we are able to know that I can think myself happy. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, good Lord God. I can think myself happy. Yes. I can see myself in my new house. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm able to rejoice right now yes. because we are able to recognize that we are not living in the future. We are living in the now yes. because faith is now. Yes. Glory to God. So we got to think it. The word of God tells us in the book of Proverbs, the 23rd chapter, verse 7, that part A is saying, for as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. <laughs> so if I'm thinking that I'm in my good, nice home, uh -huh. hallelujah. Glory to God, marble floor. In fact, the man of God spoke that it was going to be heated marble floors. I never heard of that until he spoke it. Heated marble floors. Hallelujah. I remember I went to Africa one year. And when I went to Africa, there was um, the Africans. When they say that this is my house, it does not mean that they are making payments on it. Amen. When they say it's my house, it's already paid for. Yeah. And so this man of God had came to um, South Africa during that particular time and began to build them beautiful houses, real big houses. Mm. And as I began to look at those houses, I said, okay, that's me, God. Hallelujah. Even way back then, that was in the 90s. Mm. Don't you know what God is doing right now yeah. on my behalf? Hallelujah. You better be able to speak it out of your mouth. That's what I'm saying. I'm thinking it right now. I'm tapping, thinking those thoughts that, you know, I was meditating on for years and years. I'm thinking those thoughts because why? Because it's manifested now. Hallelujah. Glory to 
of God. It's getting, it's, I'm, you know, I don't want to keep saying it's getting ready to manifest because that's not faith. Amen. Hallelujah. It's already done. I'm already in my new house. I can see myself right now in that beautiful big kitchen. Hallelujah. I won't be cooking a whole lot, but praise the Lord. Amen. I can look at it anyhow. I'll do like some people put the pots on the on the stove just for beautification. Hallelujah. New pots. Amen. So we are able to do whatever we need to do. Glory to God. And I'm able to look through that house. Seven bedrooms. Seven bedrooms. Hallelujah. Eight or nine bathrooms. Oh my God. Y'all better think it. I tell you what, it'll make you happy. You better think it. My God. And everything is at my disposal. Everything is pushed but the button. Glory to God. I push the button and things began to happen. In fact, you know, we don't have to push the button anymore. We can use Wi-Fi and we can tell it, okay, make me some coffee. Y'all better see it. Oh my God. You know, we've been thinking too small. It's time to think big now. Oh my God. God is doing it for us, y'all. Y'all wait till I get to the scripture. I hadn't even got to my main scripture yet. Oh my God. So think it. Keep on thinking. But also, the next thing we have to do, we got to speak it. Out of our mouth, we begin to speak what God has already showed us in the spiritual arena. And we are able to speak it until it manifests in the natural. So when we begin to speak it, as you open your mouth and speak it, I, the Lord, will cause it to come to pass in your life. This is what God is saying unto us. I will cause it to come to pass in your life. And then we got to remember, as we are going forth, as we are looking, and we are just in our, our cars, and we're just sitting in those cars, you know, we got to remember, God ain't told us that we have to pay for it. He told us just to believe for it. Okay, Dr. Jessica Planet, I'll give you this credit. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is good. Yeah. So he didn't ask us to pay for it. Just believe for it. Amen. Don't you know that many things are going to drop in your lap Amen. this year, 2023? Yes. Things are just going to drop in your life. Um, people are just going to come to you and say, I just want to be a blessing. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they can afford it too. Yes. Glory to God. I believe it is time for us to think big. It's time for us to dream big. Yes. It's time for us to see visions and dreams. Even as we are praying before the Lord, it's time for us to be able to see clearly now. Yes. And I believe that God is doing just that. So we are able to speak it forth. And then we are able to see it manifest in our lives. Mm -hmm. Oh, glory to God. I'm ready for manifestation. I'm telling you, 2023 is a year of manifestation in your life. Those things that you've been believing for, for all through 2022. Oh, my God, it's time for it to manifest in your life. You're going to see healing and miracles like you've never seen before. I already know it. Because God is already doing it. Hallelujah. He's performing miracles in our lives. My God, you know, we're not going to sit back on the sidelines anymore Amen. and just watch what the enemy is trying to do in our lives. No, we are able to know, I'm going to speak it until it comes into manifestation. Here's our scripture. Isaiah 60, verse 22, NLT, New Living Translation. The word of God says concerning us, the smallest family will become a thousand people. Y'all ready to increase? Yes. Hallelujah. I'm not talking about some of you getting pregnant either. <laughs> Amen. But thank God for the ones that are. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank and praise God for increase. <laughs> even in our ministry. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank and praise God for what he's doing. <laughs> but he says the smallest family will become a thousand people. And the tiniest group will become a mighty nation. Listen at these words. At the right time, I, the Lord, yes. will make it happen. Yes. i got to read that again. Yes. At the right time, yes. 
How many of you know it is the right time? Yeah. It is the right time for our miracle. Yeah. It is the right time for our prosperity. Yeah. It is the right time for our harvest. Yes. Our harvest has come. And we give God glory for it. At the right time, I, the Lord, nobody else, nobody can do us like the Lord God Almighty. He said, at the right time, I, the Lord, will make it happen. Oh, my God, it's happening. Glory to God. We're seeing the manifestation of it right now. Hallelujah. Those dreams and those prayers that have been put on hold, we're able to see clearly now what God is doing. See, we got to believe in prayer. You know, we can't be like Peter. Y'all remember Peter in the book of Acts, the 12th chapter, and um, how the word of God said the church was praying for Peter because Peter, Peter was put in prison. And the church were praying for Peter. And, you know, as they were praying for Peter, and, oh, my God, you can't imagine, they were just hard down praying for Peter. But how many of you know, many of them didn't believe what they were praying? Let me read this to you. Um, Acts the 12th chapter, verse 5. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church. Of who? Of the church. Of who? The church. Of the church unto God for him. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains. And the keeper before the door kept the prison. And behold... The angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison. And he smote Peter on the side. Mm -hmm. Peter, get yourself up. Mm -hmm. Amen. He smote him. Mm -hmm. Smoked Peter. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Sometimes, you know, we might have to be hit sometimes mm -hmm. so we can hear the voice of God. You know, that's why sometimes, even in the wee hours of the night, God gives us dreams. Because we are still during that time. During the day, we just doing everything and, and all of those things, busy and all of those. But sometimes God has to quiet our spirits down so we are able to hear his voice. So we begin to see that what happened to Peter during this time, he was smoked by the angel on the side. And he raised him up saying, arise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hand. This is miraculous, y'all. That's why we got to see that we got to operate in the supernatural. We got to get out of this natural realm. We've been in the natural realm much too long. But it's time for us to get out of the natural realm. And we are able to see the mighty hands of God. He said, arise quickly. And his chains fell off of his head. And the angel said unto him, gird thyself and bind up thy sandals. And so he did. And he said unto him, cast thy garment about thee and follow me. And he went out and followed him. And wist not that it was true, which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. See, he couldn't even believe in himself. Mm -hmm. My God, God is getting ready to turn around some situations and circumstances in your life that you're not even going to believe it. You're going to begin to say, did I have a dream? Did I have a vision? Did God do that for me? Yes, God is doing it just for us, just like he did for Peter. And we begin to see what the word of God is saying. And the angel said unto him, Gird thyself and bind up thy sins. And so he did. And he said unto him, Cast thy garment about thee and follow me. And he went out and followed him. And wished not that it was true, which was done by the angel. But he thought he saw a vision. When they were past the first and the second ward, they came unto the iron gate, listen at this, that leadeth unto the city, which opened to them, of his own accord. <laughs> Nobody had to have a key to open up the gate for Peter to get out. My God, you got to realize that what God wants to manifest in our lives. That's why I say we got to get out of this natural realm. We got to operate in the supernatural realm. What God wants to show us in this life. Amen. Chains cannot hold us bound. The devil cannot hold us in bondage. Hallelujah, because we are free agents. We are free being because whom the Son has set free is free indeed. Amen. Don't try to bow me up. Don't try to put me up in a box. My God, I'm able to know that if God is speaking it, God is able to cause it to come to pass in our lives. And they went out and passed on through one street and forthwith the angel departed from him. Now this is the part I wanted to get to. 
to because a lot of times we give up on our prayers because they have not been manifest immediately or instantly. Sometimes we give up, but I'm going to encourage us tonight, walk it out by faith. Keep on speaking this word. Keep on thinking this word, and you will see it manifest in your life. Acts 12, verse 12. And when he had considered the thing, he came to the house of Mary, talking about Peter, the mother of John, whose surname was Mark, where many were gathered together praying. These people were praying. You know, hard down praying. You know, like us sometimes. Hard down praying. But what were they believing? As they were praying. They were just going through the formality. We we're able to know that, no, we can't do that anymore. Prayer cannot be a ritual Amen. for us. Amen. When we pray, something got to happen. Yes. You know, just like we see in the book of Acts, the word of God said one of the times that they began to pray, the place was shaken where they were. There was an earthquake. There was a rumbling going on. Yes. Oh, my God, it's time to be a rumbling going on in our houses. Yes. Glory to God. You know, I remember when my grandmother and my great aunt, when they began to pray, Hallelujah, they start stomping that board floor and they start singing. One was singing and one was praying. Oh my God, and as they begin to pray, that little house where they were at, y'all remember those houses that you could walk up under the, you know, up under the house? Yes. Amen. When they start praying, I remember way back then, when they start praying and singing songs and they would stomp their feet and I mean, you know, that board floor, I mean, you could hear, hear them. It was like a rumble going on. Hallelujah, it was like thunder going on. Yeah. Because why? They began to pray, and they began to praise God. We got to get back to that. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We got to give God an undignified praise. Mm. Amen. We too cute now. <laughs> Hallelujah, we too cute now. You know, I can't, I can't mess up my makeup. <laughs> Glory to God. I can't cry no more. Come on now. We are able to get back. Hallelujah Amen. to our first love. Yeah. God, I love you, so therefore, God, I take time to praise you. Yeah. I, get, I take time to pray unto you. Yeah. Hallelujah, it's going to be like an earthquake. Yeah. Things begin to shake so much Hallelujah. that it's going to shake everything that is not like God out of the position yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. So the word of God said they began to pray. And Peter knocked at the door of the gate, a dance of came to hearken named Rhoda. And when she knew Peter's voice, she opened not the gate for gladness, but ran in and told how Peter stood before the gate. And they said unto her, Thou art met. Oh my, what they been praying? <laughs> they were praying for Peter. Right. Remember the word of God said that the church were praying for Peter. But then when the thing began to manifest, what they began to do? got into unbelief. Mm -hmm. They didn't even believe Rhoda when she began to tell them that Peter is at the gate. And she told her, you mad. Girl, you don't know what you're talking about. But she constantly affirmed that it was even so. And said they, it is in his angel. But Peter continued knocking and when they had opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, now they believe it now. Yeah. Because they see it with their own eyes. But that's why we say we got to walk this thing out by faith. Yes. It's not based on what we see yes. in the natural. It's only based on what we believe and what the word of God has already spoken unto us. It's getting ready to manifest yes. in our lives. Yes. Hallelujah. We're going to see it come to pass. Yes. You're going to see the miracles this coming year like never before. Yes. And we give God glory for it. We give God thanks even in advance. You know, I'm happy right now. Yes. All glory to God. My yes. spirit is bubbling yes. on the inside of me right now because I believe this. Yes. I believe what the word of God has spoken. Yes. Hallelujah. That is manifestation time. Yes. And we are able to believe it and we are able to speak it forth out of our mouth. Yes. It is time for us to believe what we are praying about. 
we got to turn this thing around. We say, God, God, heal me. Mm -hmm. That is not faith. Amen. Hallelujah. We got to say what God is saying. God said we got to believe that those things that be not as though they were. This is what God said. Abraham was a beautiful example of walking by faith. The word of God said when God spoke unto Abraham, Abraham, you're going to have a child in your old age. The word of God said Abraham against hope, believed in hope that he was going to be the father of many nations. He staggered not at the promises of God through unbelief, but he was strong in faith. We got to be strong in faith, saints of the living God. We got to believe this word. We got to even believe what we speak out of our mouth that is already done. Yes. Glory to God, not waiting for it to be done. And that's why I say that's the mistake we've been making. We are looking for it in the future, but it's now. Yes. Hallelujah, I'm healed Hallelujah. now. Yes. Glory to God. I don't have to have a doctor to confirm that I'm already healed. Amen. I'm already healed. Amen. I'm already walking in divine health. Yes. I'm already a kingdom millionaire. Yes. I'm already rich. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm abundantly supplied. Yes. Already done. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let me read that scripture again. Isaiah 60 verse 22. This is out of the CEB version. Contemporary English version. Even the smallest family will be a powerful nation. Uh -huh. Glory to God. Can you imagine Church of the Harvest being a powerful nation? Yes. I am the Lord, and when the time comes, I will quickly do all of this. Mm -hmm. All of the things that you've been prophesied over, yes. all of the things that you've been praying for, yes. that you've put before God, all of the dreams and visions that God has given unto you, the Word of God says, I will quickly do all of this. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. <laughs> so what are you waiting on God to do? Some of you have been waiting on a husband. <laughs> Glory to God. You know, sometimes we don't do everything that we need to do. Write it out. Tell God what man you want. How tall you want him. <laughs> Glory to God. What age you want him. Hallelujah. We can do that. Yes, you can. Because why? We walk it out by faith. See, we have limited ourselves. You know, many times we pray for five and ten years. I say we, but not me, but I'm talking about y'all. Five and ten years for, for that husband, for that man. Glory to God. Why, you, why is it taking so long? We're doing it wrong. Tell God what you want. And watch God. Tell him make him for you. Hallelujah. He'll bring him into your presence. Father, I thank you. Hallelujah. You will know when it's the right one, too. Amen. But sometimes you can't even trust your own heart. You better get somebody around you to let them confirm it for you. Okay, see? Okay, see? That's where some of y'all mess up. Amen. Because you know you're so anxious. And any man come along, that's why right. don't have to be it. <laughs> And y'all know how those ish may come around yes. first. Yes. You better wait on your Isaac. Yes. Glory to God. But tell God what you want. Yes. What you desire. And I'm telling you what, in the right time, right God will cause it to come to pass yes. in your life. Isaiah 55, 8 and 9, and also verse 11. You know, we think you're talking about the thinking. But my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. You know, stop thinking your own thoughts. Yes. Think on what God is saying, what God wants to manifest in our lives. You know, some, like I said, sometimes we are thinking too small. God wants us to elevate our thinking. You know, you've been faithful to God. You know, I look over many of your life and you've been faithful in your giving. You've been faithful unto the Lord in your right standing, your righteousness. My God, God wants to bless the righteous. Yes, yes. He wants to show you off to the world yes, yes, yes. so that we are able to provoke the world to jealousy. Mm -hmm. To know that when you serve God, this began to happen. Mm -hmm. yes. I have a testimony. When I serve God, God began to manifest. God began to give me favor yes. Yes. in everything that I do. Yes. My God. So he said, my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither my ways your ways, saith the Lord, for as heaven is higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts 
than your thoughts. Verse 11, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not. This is faith. It shall not return unto me void. Yes. But it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the things whereto I sent it. God said, I've sent my word unto you. My word will never come unto you void. Never. It's going to accomplish what it is sent forth to do. So what we have to do sometimes, keep on speaking that word. I'm going to speak it in season and out of season. When circumstances does not look too good, I'm still going to speak the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to say what God said. God, your word said, I am healed. Yes. Yes. Your word said, I am rich yes. already done. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It doesn't matter what amount is showing up in my bank account. I'm still rich yes. Yes. and abundantly supplied. Yes. Yes. Don't you realize that as we begin to speak it, we're going to see the manifestation of it like never before. In the book of Psalms 27, verse 13 and 14, the word of God said, I had faith unless I had believed the yes, seed, the yes, goodness yes. of the Lord Amen. in the land of the living. Yes. I'm not going to faint. You're not going to faint. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to stand on this word. Jesus. We're going to see and believe the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And then the scripture said, wait on the Lord yes. and be of good courage yes. and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Don't you stop. Mm. Glory to God. Don't you quit. Don't you give up. Uh-huh. We're not giving up that easily. Yes. Hallelujah. Because God has so much to give unto us. In 2023, manifestation time, you need to be talking that. You need to be yes. speaking that yes. in your household. You need to be speaking that to yourself. Mm. Speaking that to one another. It's manifestation time. Yes. Hallelujah. God, I thank you. Is already done. All of the dreams and vision and prophecies. Mm-hmm. Glory to God in my prayers are being answered now. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Because it's manifestation time. Amen. Matthew 11, 28 and 20 through 30. Come unto me. All that are labor and are heaven laden. And I will give you rest. Hallelujah. Some of us need rest for our souls. Yes. Some of you don't rest at night. Yes. Some of you are turning and tossing and turning at night. My God, but God is getting ready to turn it around. He said, come unto me. Come unto me, all that are laden and heavy burden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy. Yes. And my burden is light. You know, a lot of times people say the way of a Christian walk is so hard. No, it's not. Mm-hmm. The word of God said the way of a transgressor is hard. Yes. When you're trying to go all different directions, when you're supposed to stay on the straight and the narrow, yes. that way is hard. Yes. But the way of Christ is easy. Yes. When we take the word of God upon us and we begin to meditate on that word day and night and observe to do all that is written there. And he said, then we'll make our way prosperous. And we will have good success. It's time for us to have good success now. Yes. Yes. 2023 is our year. Yes. Hallelujah. We said the same thing last year. 2022 was our year. But 2023, oh my God, what God is getting ready to yes. do. But how many of you know there will be challenges. Yes. Yes. There will be circumstances that arise. Yes. But we're able to recognize what the word of God is saying unto us. All of those things might happen, but we can trust him. We can trust in God. Yes. John 10.10, 10, the Passion Translation. A thief has only one thing in mind. He wants to steal, slaughter, and destroy. But I have come to give you everything in abundance. More than you expect. Life in its fullness until you overflow. Uh We're not quitting until we see it overflow in every area of our lives. The word of God says God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think. Uh My God, sometimes when I think about something, Uh it begins to manifest in our lives. So we are able to know, yeah, the thief is going to always be there. The devil 
Glory to God. He's always going to come and try to hinder us, trying to speak into our minds, even in our thoughts. But we're going to tell him, stay up on our feet. You're too, you too high. Amen. If he's on our shoulder talking in our ear, he is too high. Amen. It's time for us to put him back under our feet. Let me look at another um, translation, John 10.10, 10, Amplified. The thief come only in order to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have and enjoy life. You know, I've been telling people all this year, y'all enjoy life. Amen. Enjoy your life. Yes. Don't get in bondage. Amen. Don't allow the devil to put you in bondage about anything. Yes. Just enjoy your life. Yes. And have it in abundance to the full. Here it is again until it overflows. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to walk in this overflowing life. Amen. 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 We're not going to back down. We're not going to take down Amen. from what the enemy is trying to do. Every time he raises his ugly head, we're going to put him in his place. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So don't ever think that you're too old. Are you too young? Our time is running out. The devil is a liar. Amen. You're Amen. right on time yes. for the blessings and the manifestation of the blessings of the Lord in your life. Let me look at the last scripture. First Chronicles, the fourth chapter, verse 10. Hallelujah. I believe that we're getting ready to speak this word like never before. Amen. You remember Amen. the words of Jabez. Oh, Hallelujah. Yes. Jabez had some understanding. Yes. Even though his, his mama named him Jobez. Jabez. Mm -hmm. But we are able to recognize that, you know, he's not pain. He began to have to realize himself that, God, you're going to bless me. Yes. Hallelujah. So God is going to bless you. Yes. And you and you. Yes. Hallelujah. You're not waiting on God. Hallelujah. God's waiting on you. Yes. Amen. So go out and speak that word and say, this is my house. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then you see it manifest right in your hands. God is getting ready to open up some windows of heaven for each and every one of you because you've been faithful. Yes. And because of your faithfulness, you're getting ready to see the mighty hand of God in your life. J.P.S. First Chronicles, the fourth chapter, verse 10, out of the New International Version, NIV Version. J.P.S. cried out to the God of Israel. You know, sometimes we got to cry out to God. God, I can't do this by myself. Yeah. God, I need you. Yeah. I need you in my life. I need you to give me wisdom in this yeah. situation. Yeah. God, I need for you to tell me where to go yeah. and who to talk to. Yeah. God, I need you. Yeah. Yeah. But the word of God said, Jabez began to cry out unto God of Israel. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me and be his all right to ask God for a blessing. Yes. Hallelujah. Bless me indeed. Enlarge my territory. Yes. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. Mm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Even though his mother named him pain, he saw, he saw that he said, now I can operate in the supernatural of God. I'm able to cry out unto the Lord, God, oh, bless me indeed. Enlarge my territory. You know, many of us be telling God right now, God, enlarge my territory. God said, I'm going to give you houses that you didn't build. Yeah. Some of you are going to move out of your houses, and then you're going to go to another house. Amen. And right. then you're going to rent that one out or yeah. sell it. Yeah. Glory to God, and it's going to keep on moving. Y'all yeah. better hear this woman Amen. of God. Amen. Glory to God. God Amen. wants to make us businessmen and businesswomen. Yes. Yes. My God. Hallelujah. God's going to give us land yes. that we don't even have to pay for. Amen. Because just like I said, people are going to put it in, in your lap. And tell you this is yours. Mm. Do what you want with it. Mm. Yes. Even people because of inheritance. People are going to leave you. Houses and land. Because yes. they say my children are sorry. Mm. So I'm going to leave it to you. Because you've been a blessing to me. Amen. Don't neglect to be a blessing to other people. Amen. And watch what God do in your life. Yes. So he said uh, again. Jabez said. Let your hand be with me. Mm -hmm. And keep me from harm. You know God will keep us. Yes. Hallelujah. 
He'll keep us from danger seen and unseen. He'll protect us because why? He is a divine protector yes. unto us. You know, when everybody's saying that you're not going to make it, that's not what God is saying. Hallelujah. You know, when they were talking about um, President Biden, um, talking about, you know, the pro even some of the false prophets, and they were saying that, you know, he ain't going to stay in office. He's going to die before he, his time. The devil is a liar. Amen. Because if nobody else was praying, I know beside, more besides me were praying. I pray for our president every day. Amen. My God. And I pray for those ones. Why? Because God is able. Because God just needs one righteous person Hallelujah. praying. Yeah. Yeah. And he will save a whole nation. Hallelujah. Just like he did for Abraham. Mm. My God, God will do the same thing for us as we are righteous people. As we begin to pray for our presidents and pray for our kings. Pray for those ones in authority. Yeah. God is able to turn situations and situations yeah. around. Yes. I've seen it over and over again. So he said, let your hands be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. Yes. And this is what these words said, these last words. And God granted his request. Yes. God, it's manifestation time, saints. Amen. God is granting your request. Yes. What are you speaking in the atmosphere? What are you telling God? What are your heart's desire? The word of God said he granted his request. My God, God is up to something. Yes, yes, He's yes. doing some awesome things. He's turning situations and circumstances around in our lives. God is letting me know, letting us know that He's still on the throne. Yes, yes. He is. Hallelujah. Even though there are all kinds of things. He said, in the latter days, um, some going to depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. But we're not going to be in that midst. We're going to stand faithful. And faithful until the end. The word of God said when Jesus come again, will he find faith on the earth? Will he find us walking in faith and believe in him that he's able to do all things on our behalf? Yes, even in yes. the midst of turmoil, in the midst of what we see going on on planet earth. In the midst of what they're saying that, you know, there's going to be COVID um, coming again upon planet Earth. We bind that up. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. You know, we got to begin to proclaim the fire of God. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fire of God. Yes. Burn it up. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Well, we got to be radical. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory to God. We've been sitting down on God long enough. Yes. Amen. Arise. Yes. Shine. For thy light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon us. Hallelujah. We are those people, we are, we are those hands, and we are those feet that God is able to use. We are those mouthpieces for God. Amen. And I'm telling you what, he's getting ready to do it on our behalf. Hallelujah. My God. So we, we are excited, because I'm telling you, 2023 is our year. Yes. We're going to see the hand of God like never before. We're going to be those vessels that God is able to use. We are those vessels fit for the master's use. Yes. God, well, how will you want me? How will you use me today? Yes. Give me my, my this day, my daily instruction, my daily bread. Yes. Yes. God, what would you have me to do? Hallelujah. God is giving more dreams and visions. I don't know whether you're noticing that. You know, I'm having more dreams like I've never had before. There are sometimes good dreams, but sometimes bad dreams that I'm able to come against. Yes. And I'm able to tell the devil, no, you yes. will not take this one. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we can rebuke death. Yes. We can tell death to get back. Amen. We can tell death to behave. Amen. Jesus already took the sting out of death. Yes. Oh, death. Huh. Where is thy grave? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are able to know we got victory over death yes. in the name of Jesus. So we are able to walk this thing out by faith. And so we give God glory. Y'all excited? Yes. Hallelujah. Y'all can testify of this word tonight. Yes. Amen. Glory to God. Y'all going to continue meditating on this yes. word that it's manifestation time. Yes. Hallelujah. We get ready to see rumbles. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're getting ready to see earthquakes. Yes. That God is turning situation around. Everything that can be shaken is being shaken. Yes. 
Everything is going to shake off of us. Shake off those heavy bags. Yes. Put on the garment of praise. praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah for the spirit of heaven. We are the planting of the Lord so that he can be glorified. God, you be glorified, you be glorified. in our lives. Yes. If you live right, listen yes. at this. If you live right, he'll bless you. Yes. If you live right, he'll bless you. We see that all through the word. If you live right, yes. he'll bless you. Yes. Read Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. First the blessing and then the curses. Yes. If you live right, he'll bless you. God wants to bless his people. Yes. Father, we thank you for this word tonight, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Make this word clear unto our understanding, Father, that we'll be a doer of your word and not a hearer only, deceiving ourselves. Father, we surrender all unto you, all to you. We freely give, withholding nothing, God. God, we give you our hearts. We give you our minds, oh God. We even give you our very spirit, oh God. Use us, mold us the way that you see fit. And Father, we'll forever give you all the glory, the honor, honor, and the praises in Jesus' name. If you're here and you said, Pastor, I just need to make a new start. I haven't been doing everything I'm supposed to do, but God, I'm that one that's standing in the need of prayer right now. I make a decision tonight before the new year come in, Father, to give you every part of me. If you're that person, just want you to just lift your hand up and say, Father, that's me. Father, I need you in my life. I need more of you. I see those hands. You can put them down now. I need more of you in my life. Hallelujah. But most of all, we need Jesus. See, when Jesus comes in, he makes a change. When we give our lives and our hearts to the Lord, there is a difference. We walk a different walk. We talk a different talk. Yes. So many of you need Jesus. You may say that, you know, I've given my heart to the Lord before, but I kind of backslid. I went back on God. But this is my night to make it right with God. If that's you, come on, raise that hand in Jesus' face. Raise that hand at this time. I just want to pray with you. And I see those hands. The name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. But some of you might say that I've never really given my heart to the Lord, and I know that. The word of God said, when we give our hearts to the Lord, He'll make all things new on our behalf. I want to be new to that. If that's you, I just want you to raise your hand that you know we want to make Jesus the Lord of your life and you want to give God your life. You want to. You want salvation. You want to be saved tonight, and know that you're saved. That if you go to be with the Lord, or if you die tonight, that you for sure that you will go to heaven. That's the salvation that I'm talking about. That if I die tonight, I know I'll go to heaven. If you're not sure, I just want you to raise your hand. This time. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Those ones on, on Facebook, streaming with us, this is for you too. Give your heart to the Lord. Give God all of you tonight. Hallelujah. Let Him be new in your life. Ask God to create in me a clean heart, oh God, and renew the right spirit in, on the inside of me. Glory to God. Come on, we're going to pray that salvation, then we're going to pray for the other ones that raise their hand. Come on, hallelujah. Just repeat after me. Say, Almighty God, Almighty God. in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. I, confess I confess with my mouth, with my mouth. The, Lord Jesus. the Lord Jesus. I believe in my heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. Father, I ask you now to forgive me of 
of all of my sin. Cleanse my heart this day. Be Lord over my life from this day forward. Father, I receive it by faith. Now, Father, I ask you to fill me with your Holy Spirit. Father, I walk in this power when you fill me in the name of Jesus. I receive it by faith. And I give you all the glory, all the honor, and the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, give God.